All right, here we are on day eight of the remodel at Ambrosia. Let's see what's going on. Hello! There's my guy in the back. Now you can see that things are really starting to clean up. Got a lot of the drywall patch done. Most of the new electric is in. Made up. Very nice, very nice. Beautiful new windows for the Terrific view. We've got our uh, new kitchen lighting and our beam's been covered. Looks really good. Nice little upgrade. We've got the wire pulled in the hallway and the uh, hallway switching seems to be complete. And it just so happens that I know that we've started reducing the closets. Now these closets are oversized closets, so what we're doing is reducing the size of the opening to a six-foot opening for a double glass sliding door. Saves a few dollars on these uh, triple sliders, which are just a maintenance nightmare. And you can see that it's got a uh, pressure-treated base with a nice anchor and a nice top plate extremely level and strong that uh, gives good access to both sides of the closet and I think uh, what I'll do is I may show you how I build those so let's go into this other room where I'm just about to start doing that all right now I know the lighting is a little difficult in here but what we have in the way of tools is we have a pneumatic air gun a 1985 skill saw, some very new battery operated drills and motors for anchoring, some hand tools for the ultimate electrical that was uh, going on this morning. <laughs> and uh, so what we do is we come into the rough opening, determine the size, which will be six feet. Uh, first thing we have to do is we have to take off this corner bead at the right length, leaving the corner bead in the center so that it's clean and uninterrupted and then removing it where the new framing is going to be on both sides and cleaning the whole floor and that gets us ready for the framing. Framing is really, really easy. So just watch this. Alright, so we're back on the closet and I wanted to show you what we've done. Essentially, the fastest way to do this is to determine your opening and then cut your two base plates. In this case, the bottom one is a pressure treated two by four. The top one will be the top sill. And I place those one on top of the other and then I measure from the bottom or the top of those two combined all the way up to where the rough framing is. Now this is where exact measurements really come into play. Like this one is a weak 77 inches and this one turned out to be a strong 76 and 3 quarter inches. So what happens now is I've got the base material ready to go. So I'll put it on the ground, nail it together, press it in and level it.
There you go. And instead of bringing it from the front backwards, we're going to bring it from the back forwards. And what you see how tight that is. measurements. Now we have to make sure see that all the nailing is done. Here's the exact same application as before. A nice pressure treated base with one anchor within 16 inches from the side, five nails in the trim stud, the header stud has three nails, the king stud, well unfortunately we came off just a little tiny bit to get level, but she's nice and level, perfect, ready to go. As you see, she's ready for drywall. Look at that line. All the way up and down. And so as you can see now, the drywall has been applied to the new framing. And the new closet doors are six feet on center for beautiful sliding glass doors with a nice 24 inch return on each side, very convenient, lovely, and that would complete the final framing. And that means that we are done for the day. This is day nine of the Ambrosio Project. 
thank you for watching, and we'll see you next week.